Hey friends, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about documentation, which is probably one of the most boring activities you can do, uh, but we're going to see a couple of ways to make it more interesting and more appealing to software engineers. Before we start, hi, my name is Anto. This is Auto DevOps, a YouTube channel where I talk about software engineering and consider subscribing. Don't forget to like if you like the video, double click if you don't like the video and see you in a second. So documentation. Documentation is, as I mentioned before, most of the time considered something very boring. Uh, but when you, as a consumer of the documentation, when you find excellent documentation, it's a pleasure because your problem is solved. You just need to follow the instructions, read the documentation, and everything is going to be done for you. So there are two things I want to cover here. So one, how you are currently doing your documentation, not necessarily code documentation, uh, but the project documentation, the culture of the company, how do you write, how to do things, for example, things like pull request etiquette or uh, um, any other topic that you may found in Confluence. So most of the time you end up with systems like Confluence where everyone has access, everyone can create their own space or can create um, additional spaces. And you, with the time, uh, you end up with lots of confusion because new people don't know where to look because let's be honest confluence search doesn't really search anything so yeah, every result is always is never what i look for so what happens is that you end up with 10 different versions of a document that says similar things but always from a different angle you don't know which one to trust you start from the first and probably the correct one is the, the one at the bottom of your list and that's one of the most frustrating things that you have to do for me it's even more frustrating than writing documentation so how can we fix this in the past i used git books uh, git books is um, probably on many github projects you can find the github io page where um, they publish the documentation of the repo using git books uh, now Gitbooks is a paid product and um, there is less support on the, the, from the community. So um, I started looking at something else like Docusaurus. Docusaurus is a project from uh, Facebook and is created using React. How can you use Docusaurus? Docusaurus is essentially a website that builds your documentation. You can put all your documentation in markdown format and dump these files into a folder and Docusaurus will publish that for you. There are a few interesting features in Docusaurus where you can version your book and it's also super easy to navigate uh, different versions. So when you have versioning enabled, you can just click on top and select the version that you want of the documentation. So you click on the version and you can see how that changed. So the other cool thing is that you can build around this an entire process. So you can have, um, for example, documentation that especially if it's technical documentation, uh, you can uh, do that using um, GitHub. So you can have a process around that similar to uh, what you do for your code. So you can have a pull request, you can have a group of people that are uh, focused on the documentation, on um, taking care of um, clarity and taking care of uh, content and they can approve your pull request. And then when that pull request is approved, a new version of the docs is generated and published for you. So at that point, everything becomes super easy and probably also be fun because you can, one, use Markdown instead of strange confluence slash Jira syntax. And you have something that is published that you can also uh, export as a PDF or as whatever you want. So uh, in a previous company, we had the engineering handbook and then we had a, a book specific for APIs. We were specifying what were the rules for defining an API contract according to the company policies. And that worked very well because everyone was involved and the, the, there was a structured process around the maintaining the documentation. So, so I am exploring the Docosaurus as a tool and um, probably you're gonna find more videos on that soon. Uh, let me know what you think. Let me know how you treat documentation, how you keep documentation up to date without having 
tons of pages that are very similar but very inconsistent and um, let me know down in the comments hope you like this short video and see you in the next one bye bye